Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute. I had a baby, we have a new background. Things are changing and I would like to figure out how to dress myself again, but I don't I don't even know where to start. You know, I feel like post-pregnancy is one thing, but then also I've spent the last year and a half in, indoors pretty much all the time. So I need to kind of figure out what my style is and also how to dress myself in something that's not sweats. So let's do it. So I have not taken like a style quiz since I was probably like 11 years old reading J14 magazine, but I thought that could be a fun place to start. So let's start with uh, what's my style personality.com. That seems like a very good place to start. How would I describe my look? I'm gonna go effortless and laid back because honestly, at this point in my life, I just need clothes that work for my life, that are comfortable, that are easy to wear, but that still make me feel confident. Pick one of the following outfits. I'm gonna go wide leg jumpsuit and white trainers. All right, this one says my style of personality is minimalist, but I don't think anyone would describe me as a minimalist, but maybe that's my style, right? Maybe my style is more simplistic. What style am I? Do you wear a lot of color? I'm gonna say I like color, but I stick to one or two. How about pattern? I think, I think I like minimal, I don't really wear a lot of patterns. I like plaid. How about fanny packs? You know what? I'm here for a fanny pack moment. Would you do a full face of makeup on a day? I would probably not do a full face of makeup any day. Creative hobbies, does rock tumbling count? Do you technically wear workout clothes to work? Yes. <laughs> Oh, you are athleisure. I will say, I uh, say a little prayer every day that athleisure is in style. What style would suit you? Ooh, I get to pick a phone case. You know what? I'm gonna go the cute and delicate. I love that this one gives the vibe that like just some girl in her bedroom made it. <laughs> Did I like the quiz? Yes, thanks. Ooh, what style suits me? Light academia. You know when I did that video where I tried TikTok aesthetics? I did really like the dark academia outfit that I put together. Okay. Which one of these describes you best? Either C or D. Yeah, I'll go C. You know what? I think as my style matures, as I get older, I am leaning more towards like just earthy tones and neutrals. Pick a vacation destination. Oh, New York City, all the freaking way. <laughs> Ooh, my result is the eclectic. Do you keep up with clothing trends? Sometimes. How often do you dress up? Let's say, let's say every now and then. Honest answer is probably rarely, but I feel like I want to get dressed and make intentional outfits more because it makes me feel good. Should one ever wear socks with sandals? <laughs> Should or do I? Because those are two different answers. I'm gonna, mm, this, tough question. Do you care what others think about you? Dang how stuff works. This is like getting intimate. You got casual. Wow, groundbreaking. <laughs> casual, eclectic, athleisure, minimalist. All right, last one I'm gonna take is a BuzzFeed quiz. I feel like if I'm doing a quiz section, a BuzzFeed quiz is mandatory. Pick a song. I literally don't know any of these songs. <laughs> Oh, oh, I had to scroll down more. Okay, I'll go Mamma Mia. What do you like to do in your free time? I'm gonna go with look at cute things because my child exists. <laughs> How would your friends describe you? Sweet and calm? Nope, never. <laughs> Creative and fun? Possibly. Sad, but fun. I'm gonna go creative and fun. <laughs> Just. What'd you get? Bruh girl aesthetic. And it's a picture of Sam from iCarly. <laughs> Bruh. Girl. Oh, there it is a keyword. Honestly, this is probably the most accurate. <laughs> All right, well, I took a bunch of quizzes. I got some results that I think would be helpful, others not so much. So it's mood board time. So I have spent a whole lot of time looking through Pinterest and Instagram. Now I think I have a pretty good idea of what I want my style to be. I pulled 41 inspiration photos. So we have plenty of inspiration to look at. Also, I wanna give a shout out to four creators who I found myself 
pulling outfit inspiration from the most being Julia, Morgan Yates, KLV, and Trisha Stocklin. So I will link their Instagrams down in the description. Definitely check them out. All four of those creators, I found myself scrolling through their Instagram and being like, this is how this is how I want to dress. And also this kind of style would work for my life, which I feel like is another thing that I'm realizing in trying to pinpoint my style is I need to balance like comfy things, things that I can wear when I'm just at home with Grace, where I can like get down on the floor with her. I don't have any restriction to my movement, like more athleisure stuff, bike shorts, oversized t-shirts, sweats, but then also having outfits that are like a step above that, like those cuter outfits for work, for filming, for going out to lunch with friends, for date night. And that's where I saw myself pulling a lot from like the light academia, the flowy pants, the sweaters, the button ups. That's how I would want my style to be every day. But the reality is I'm not gonna wear jeans and a blazer when I'm just at home taking care of Grace. And then I think there are also things that are comfortable and don't restrict my movement that are also cuter. And looking through these photos, I mean, there's a ton of pieces in my closet that I could use to make outfits like this. I just didn't have like the vision for it before. So I think I'm gonna go into my closet and pull items that I could use to style outfits like this to kind of create my own mini capsule wardrobe for this style within my own closet, but also making sure that all the pieces that I pull, I like the way they fit me now because my body has changed a lot through pregnancy and postpartum. If there are any gaps in that where there's something that I think I could use to style a lot of different things on this mood board, but that I don't have or that doesn't currently fit me, then that's when I'll buy something. I need to uh, re revisit the mood board. Okay, so this is exactly what I mean by like fit for my lifestyle. I loved this bodysuit. This totally fits the look of what I'm going for, but um, I cannot wear a bodysuit while breastfeeding. <laughs> Pretty much any other style of shirt, I can just like lift up, take off a bodysuit. I just, it's not gonna work, <laughs> but I'm still gonna hold on to this because I, I love this piece and I won't be breastfeeding forever. <laughs> so back in you go me pulling literally every jumpsuit and overalls I own. <laughs> it's comfy and it's like, if it it's the style. And I still call it postpartum sweats if I'm 11 weeks postpartum. <laughs> like even my scalp is sweating. Okay, so I separated everything that I pulled from my closet onto this rack and this rack. And now I'm going through each of these pieces and making sure that I like the way it fits, actually trying it on, moving around in it a little bit. And that is eliminating probably so far like 30% of the stuff I pulled. Not so much tops, like a lot of my tops and blouses, I still really like the fit. Really the only like gap I have in tops is a lot of my old oversized t-shirts are no longer oversized in the way that I want them to be. This is like the one exception. The black maternity overalls don't work when I'm not pregnant, but the green ones do. So I'm keeping these in my little capsule wardrobe. Jackets fit fine, most of my sweaters fit fine, but uh, the bottoms, that is where I'm having the biggest problem. So in the end, I pulled one pair of pants, two sweats, one skirt, three shorts, three jackets, six sweaters and long sleeves, two jumpsuits, one pair of overalls, two graphic tees, two tank tops, seven other tops, and one tennis dress. So now I am actually gonna go shopping in person. I'm here, just pulled up at the mall and try on clothes in a store for the first time in, it's gotta be like almost two years at this point. At first I was gonna order stuff online and then I realized I just have no idea what size I would even order. And so I think it'll be really good for me to go get to try things on in person. So I made a shopping list of the things that I think will really fill in the gaps in my wardrobe. Wardrobe. So we have a light linen shirt or like button ups to layer, a neutral sweat set, a pair of black overalls or maybe like an overall dress like the ones from my inspiration board. I wanna get a pair of like comfy, loose fitting, stretchy mom jeans, some sort of lightweight trouser or flowy pants and I put plaid question mark. I like plaid. An oversized blazer and also I think it would be really great if I can find them to get a couple more just oversized graphics tees to wear on my comfy days with bike shorts. Let's go inside the dressing room. Been a long time since I said that. I mentioned in a vlog that I was looking for new jeans and a whole bunch of you guys mentioned that American Eagle ones are super comfy. So this little like stretch bar, I want to find ones that are like here or here. So the, the jeans hunt 
not going great. <laughs> so I could only find a couple pairs of jeans in a size over a 16. So I grabbed one pair each in an 18, a 20, and a 22. These ones are the 18. They're too tight. The 20 fit okay, but it, I just didn't like the look of them. And the 22 was too big. So I think if I'm gonna go with American Eagle jeans, a 20 is probably the way to go. But there are no other style options in a 20 for me to try on in store. So if I don't find jeans at another store, I'll probably just order a pair online. Feeling slightly demoralized after American Eagle. <laughs> Hopefully there's something for me at Nordstrom. Keeping my fingers crossed. We're keeping positive. <laughs> All right, remind me again why I wanted to go shopping in store for this video. <laughs> Jess and I just walked through Nordstrom. I, I found like three or four items that I liked and none of them were available bigger than a large. So not having a great time. <laughs> so we drove over to another mall that has a Torrid. And even though a lot of the clothes here weren't my style, it was really nice not having to worry about them having my size. And I did try on two items, but I just didn't like either of them enough to buy. And then I also wanted to check out Old Navy because they just announced like two days ago as I'm filming this that they're rolling out more inclusive sizing in all of their stores and I was pleasantly surprised I was able to find a size 20 in any pair of jeans that I wanted. Okay this is the first pair of jeans that I'm trying on at Old Navy and I'm really impressed. The denim feels really nice. It's pretty lightweight. It has a decent amount of stretch to it. Of the three pairs I tried the first was definitely my favorite but I was also tempted by these overalls. In the end I just just to go with the jeans and I got them and you know what I I'm glad that I at least found one thing in stores that worked for me so yesterday was it was a little rough I you know it just doesn't feel good to go into a store and not be able to find things that fit you so today I'm gonna do a little more shopping I feel like I, I have a better idea of what size I wear now so I'm probably gonna order some stuff online too depending on what I find shopping today okay I grabbed two blazer options but they only had an extra large and I think for this first one I'm trying on I would need a double XL to have the fit that I want. It fits fine. It's just not the fit that I want. I want more oversized. Now this one I'm a little tempted by. I feel like this one fits a little bit looser. I like the plaid. I like plaid. I feel like I could dress it up, dress it down. I feel like it's oversized enough, but it's not like swallowing up my whole body. It's expensive though. That's the thing about Madewell. It's, <laughs> it's expensive. So is it good enough to justify the price. I'm gonna ask Instagram. A few moments later. All right, y'all are not helping me with the indecisive of this. Awesome, thank you so much. Oh, Have a nice day. I bought it. <laughs> So uh, picking stuff out at Target. I'm finding a ton of stuff in 18, 20, double XL. Cute stuff too that like fits my mood board, fits my shopping list. So let's hope that actually trying it on now <laughs> goes just as well as uh, finding it in the store. Oversized graphic tee, this one is a yes and 15 bucks. Oversized plaid blazer, this is in a double XL. Very similar to the Madewell one, it just doesn't have like the purple tones that that one did. And it's like a quarter of the price. <laughs> I think I like the Madewell one a little better, especially cause it's lighter and I'm already getting kind of sweaty. These are a no, these are a no. I thought these might be fun, but the fit just is not quite right in the legs. So I got the graphic tee and the plaid blazer from Target. And my plan is, since I also bought the Madewell blazer, to take them both home, try to style them in the mirror, decide which one that I like better, and then I'll return the other one. And I feel like today was definitely a more enjoyable shopping experience, but it really is just such a huge difference from now being like a size 20 to like two years ago when I last went shopping in store being a size 14 to 16. Before it was like sometimes stores don't have options for me and now it's like most of the time stores don't have options for me. So trying to find those items for my shopping list in store in my size did not go great, but I spent quite a few hours yesterday scouring the internet, looking for those just pinnacle pieces to complete my wardrobe. And I think I found some cute stuff. So I placed orders with Eloquy, ThreadUp, Big Bud Press, and Torrid. And hopefully some of them work out because I feel like these are the pieces that I want to style in a ton of different ways and use for a ton of different outfits. And then the vegan leather blazer that I got from 
from Eloquia. I actually liked so much that I decided to just return both the Target and Madewell blazers because I really only need one blazer and this one is far superior. All right, so now I have all these cute clothes that fit me in a way that makes me feel confident. I have the mood boards for inspiration. I think it's time to actually put some outfits together. I wanna try on some different options in like each of my three categories. Comfy at home with Grace, cute out of the house outfits, and then things that work for both in between. And then I'm gonna pick my favorite outfit from each of those three categories and like fully style it, accessories and everything for a little photo shoot. Let's try it. Let's start with the like athleisure, taking care of grace looks so first this is like this is the easy choice this is the simplest option just a baggy t-shirt bike shorts and sneakers but if i wanted to do something a little bit more put together for a bike shorts look oh my god i love this okay i think bike shorts tank top white button up sneakers. I can do it with the white button up. I can do it with the brown button up. I could leave this open like this or I could tie it up. Honestly, I like it both ways. I think tied up is cute. I think just wearing it open is cute. And then third option, my little sport dress with either the white button up layered on top or denim jacket. This is how I styled it when I wore this dress previously. Now for my actually getting out of the house outfits, I have this little black mock neck tee, this brown corduroy like shirt jacket. I think they call it a shacket. The old navy jeans and my Doc Martens. And I feel like I could do the same look with different jackets, different shirts. And if I wanted to kind of elevate this look a little bit more, swap the shacket for the faux leather blazer. And this is like, this is like hot. I mean, I'm, I'm, I meant like hot, like I look hot, but also it is a little sweaty hot. Also, I could totally do just the same like button up tank top combos from the athleisure section, but with jeans and docks instead for another cute, simple little outfit. Fit. Next option, jeans, sneakers, sweater, and a little like collared shirt dicky underneath. I was really trying to emulate this inspiration photo from Pinterest and I I just, I don't know if I love it on me, but I don't know. Actually, wait, now, it, <laughs> now it's kind of growing on me. I'm not like sold on this one, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Okay, now I don't know if this is playing like too much into the light academia thing, but I layered the, the collared dicky underneath and then I really like the two tones of brown together. I also cuffed up the pants and I feel like I just prefer that look personally. Maybe it's like a little bit much, but I'm kind of a little bit much, so. And now for the outfits that can do both, comfortable enough to take care of Grayson, but like on the cuter side, we have the Eloquy sweater tank with my Confident and Kind Perfect pants and some loafers. I think this looks so cute together. Also, if you didn't know, these pants are actually from my merch. I will link them in the description. Obviously, I love them because I made them, but really they are just my favorite pants. And right now we're actually working on version 2.0 of these pants. They're gonna come in black in a longer length and then with some other like design changes that we're working on. So very, very excited for that, but we are currently in the manufacturing process. So it's probably gonna be like another month or so, but be looking out for that. You can follow the Confident and Kind Instagram for updates. Anyways, this is the outfit, super comfy. I feel very cute. What also works for both is literally any of the jumpsuits and overalls that I have layered with a long sleeve or a short sleeve or a graphic tee underneath. Seriously, so many variations of this look that I can make and it is incredibly comfortable. And last outfit, we have the faux leather blazer with a black mock neck, black mini skirt and black Doc Martens. Man, just something about this blazer makes me feel, makes me feel like a boss ass bitch, honestly. <laughs> that was a lot of outfits. Now, uh, I, th I think it's photo shoot time. So here are my fully styled looks. We have the everyday athleisure outfit. Dude, who would have thought a white button up shirt would be like my new favorite things? I'm so basic. <laughs> The flowy outfit that's kind of an in-between. I'm filming you, filming me. <laughs> <laughs> and then for my cute like workwear looks, I actually ended up deciding to choose two outfits because I just liked both of them so much. So the first one, we have the fun leather blazer badass look, and then also the light academia inspired one. I feel like this is a really good starting point and I'm excited to keep tweaking my style and finding different outfit combinations that work for my life and also just make me feel 
feel good and confident. And for the first time in a while, I feel like I can honestly say that I am excited to get dressed again. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I am so excited to be back. New background, new set. I just felt like I was ready for a change and coming back after a three month break seemed like a good time to do it. So I hope you like it. I showed a little bit of the behind the scenes of that and also just filming this video as a whole on my vlog channel. So if you want to see more of that, more of me, Check out my vlog channel, Sierra and Steven IRL, linked in the description. Be confident, be kind to your body, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!